Oh god! Stab him in the back! Throw dirt in his face! I, we're not even facing one another. Get him! Get him! Get him! It's me and a friend going for a lovely jog on the beach. He wants to kill me so bad. I think he runs faster than me because he is catching up. Oh my god. Alright, we're dead. <laughs>Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into Bushido Blade, a classic on the PS1. This is a fighting game that accepts the realities of fighting. Namely, you take a blade to the stomach, you ain't getting back up. Um, interestingly, this game, it's a one-on-one -on -one fighting game, but you have absolutely no health bar. It's a realistic sword fighting game. So you hit somebody in the arm, the arm goes limp. You hit them in the leg, they go down on a knee and they can't maneuver. Um, you get hit in the stomach or the head or anywhere vital and it is a one-hit kill. Uh, apparently you can even throw dust in your opponent's eyes, but that is considered dishonorable. So in the single player campaign, uh, you lose Bushido points or whatever. Anyway, I'm super excited about this game. I am not like a huge fighting game guy, but like I, I have some fun with them. And, you know, I, I especially enjoyed Mortal Kombat growing up. But of course, you know, the one sort of running gag with, with fighting games, or the nitpick, I guess you could say, and all gamers know this, is that, you know, in fighting games, guys are getting, like, hit with blades and lasers and, like, punched through the eyeball, and they're just losing, like, a little bit of health. So this is an attempt to make a game where you get hit with a blade and that's it. That's it. So I'm very curious to see how this goes. So without further ado, let's hop into Bushido Blade. Um, oh, and I selected the story mode. Okay, whatever. Sounds good. I was going to take a look at the options, but I will accept the story. So here we go. Uh, this game... Oh, I was going to say it is in Japanese, but no, there are English names. So I don't know what I'm talking about. Even select characters in English. So ignore me, guys. I forgot that English was a language briefly. Let's see. Who do we want to be? Who looks like they're going to have the most sword powers? These guys are not holding swords, so it's hard to judge. I like this guy. He's sort of meditating in a trench coat, and it looks like he's wearing futuristic sort of cyberpunk armor. So we're going to be Uts Utsusemi. That's my uh, terrible attempt to pronounce a Japanese name. Now we get to select our weapon, which is pretty cool. So all these weapons have different moves, and I was looking up in the manual uh, before I started playing today what some of these moves were, and they get rather complicated. Oh my god, it's a giant sword. Oh no, it's a pole. Um, that has sledgehammer, oh my goodness. A long sword, a saber, a broadsword. Well, we have to fight with the sledgehammer at some point and the pole, but I think for uh, the sake of using the most iconic weapon first, let's start with the katana because that is, uh, I think, their traditional sort of Japanese sword. So, uh, yeah, I was looking up the different moves. They're rather complicated. They are dependent on each different sword that you're holding. Uh, so I don't know how many of those I'm going to be able to figure out, but I did figure out the basics. So here we're getting the background story here. The Foot Clan invaded your dojo, apparently, and now you have to go and fight them under a full moon with one of a variety of sweet, awesome blades. Look at those blades. They're all just waiting for you. Oh, and you even have like a dojo helmet waiting to protect your ears and cheeks from sword uh, attacks, and I guess your forehead too. Now, helmet is leaving a lot to be desired, I will say. Like, you know, the back of your skull and the top of your head are totally revealed, but uh, I'm not going to turn away cheek protection if I'm going into a sword fight. Um, if I do nothing, it's as if I'm waiting for him to kill me. So we should not do nothing. We should go after him. And slaughter him with the blade, the very blade he used to slaughter my father all those millennia ago. I'm just like totally making a backstory now. I don't know what's happening in Bushido Blade. A bunch of ninjas are having a tiff, as is always the case. You know what, you put, you put like three or four ninjas in a room and they'll just start conspiring to assassinate one another. This guy is coming at me with a sledgehammer. There's a dude with a sledgehammer. Okay, so there's a low attack. There's a mid attack and there's a high attack. You can also go into free running mode where you just totally peace out. One interesting thing about this game is it is not limited to a specific arena. So you can like literally explore the environment. You can, oh God. Okay, he tried to, he tried to attack me. You guys saw that. 
Yeah! Oh, we I think we might have got him. Oh, he blocked that. Oh, we killed him! That's it! That's the whole fight. And here's a replay of that. I like a fighting game where you get lucky once and you win. It's kind of interesting because I could see this playing against like a friend. Even if you had a friend who's really good at this game. Oh, no, <laughs> holding his body. You're not even in cage. Why were you after me? Now I'm like regretful that I killed him. Like holding his body. Um, but uh, even if I was playing against a friend who's really good at this game, I imagine I could get a lucky strike and win. So I kind of like the fact that it's one hit kills. Um, oh, now she's coming after me too, eh? How about we go like this? <laughs> and it's over. Fastest match ever. I just ran up to her and sliced her face. She was busy showboating, and I was like, hey, you know what? You know what's more fun than showboating? Murder! Still so young. Don't throw your life away for nothing. I mean, she's dead, dude. It's kind of kind of too little too late on that advice. <laughs> uh, maybe I just... Maybe I mauled her. Left her with a, a scar down her face into her chest or something. I don't know. All right. Let's see if we can do... Oh! Oh! oh. I'm, I'm trying to, like, slice his legs. Oh god, he bopped me on the head. I totally should have pressed defense. I saw that coming. Continue. Yes. Rematch! It turns out I'm not dead after all. I was just sleeping. Okay, so you can change your stance with the right and left buttons. Or right and left bumpers. Does not seem to be working. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, let's try and like get him in the legs. Oh, he sliced my stomach. All right, we got lucky with those first two fights. We got lucky. Okay, we're gonna continue. I think this game has infinite rematches. So let's go. Let's go into coward mode. And how do we? How do we actually jump? There is a way to like jump and climb your environment, and, like go all over the place. Here, let's just get out of here. This guy's like, hey, I thought we were fighting, and I was like, no. I forgot I have errands to do. I forgot I don't want to fight you, dude. I'm just literally running away down the highway. Oh, can we go in the tunnel? Oh, we totally can. I was like, surely this environment must end. Um, blah, blah. I'm like being so obvious that I'm going to attack him. Oh, God, my legs. Oh, God. <laughs> Look, my legs are all mangled it's because he sliced my legs. Okay, let's let's fight him for real this time. I've just try, kind of been exploring the game. So, yeah, y I mean, th the worlds do have limits. I mean, you can run around, jump around in the environment and stuff. It isn't an unlimited environment to explore, but it is pretty cool how you're not... Uh, there we go. <laughs> you're not in, like, a little arena. The way to win this game is to wait for them to, like, showboat at the beginning and then just while they're dazzling their sword skills... Hey, look, my leg is bandaged. You just go in and stab him. Um, oh, look, my knee is hurt. It's kind of like the Indiana Jones approach. Like, remember Indiana Jones in the Raiders of the Lost Ark when uh, that guy shows up in the, the bazaar to fight Indy and he starts, like, flailing his sword around, showing how skilled he is, and Indy just shoots him? Like, that is a hilarious, iconic scene. This is the equivalent of that. I'm not shooting them. I'm... Oh, God. Um, oh, God. Nope. Oh, there we go. I'm just waiting for them to do a move or two, and then when they do it, I'm just going in for the kill. There we go. <laughs> so it, it is interesting how it's a one-hit kill system. It, it is The matches are going by much faster than I thought. So it might be nice if you your guys had a little bit of health. Um, or what would be interesting, I think, an interesting twist you could put on this game. Ooh, now we're fighting in like a uh, bamboo forest. An interesting twist you could put on this game is that maybe every character has like four or five auto blocks. And if a, an, an opponent goes to attack and you totally don't block it, your character automatically instinctively uses an auto block. And that's sort of like health, you know, because you only have like four or five hits that you can take before you're killed. But in the context of the game's world, it's still realistic because you're not getting, <laughs> you're not get, we just killed a pirate. Uh, it's still realistic because you're not getting stabbed. Like, right there, if that guy had five auto-blocks, when I went in for the kill, he should have instinctively auto-blocked away from it. Um, and that would have counted as, like, a health point, right? So you can sort of functionally add health points, by still, but still keep the ultra-realism um, of this game if you wanted. Which I think would be I, I think would be fair. I wouldn't mind, again, a little bit more challenging. This guy literally has a gun! Oh my god. 
Oh! What? What? <laughs> I want that guy! Literally, how's that fair? He just shot me. He, and also, how do you block a sword with a gun? Can I just say that that is impressive? He's got like a German Luger. And, uh... Oh, he just fell on the ground! Slice him! Slice him! Oh, I just killed him. I don't think he's getting back up. <laughs> I, like, cut his esophagus out. He's like, oh, kill me. Oh, God, why did I bring a gun to a knife fight? Which is funny, because that's the opposite of what people normally want. Normally, you bring a gun to a knife fight and you win. You coward, using a gun. What is the bodysuit my guy's wearing? He he looks like he's Green Man, only he's ripped. Do you see those abs? Like, this guy hits the gym 24-7. He lives at the gym. He, it's Jim Laundry Club for this guy or whatever. Jim Laundry Tan. What was it that the uh, Jersey Shore people used to always say? Oh, God! Stab him in the back. Throw dirt in his face. I, we're not even facing one another. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, my God. All right, we're dead. Um, apparently, you can throw dust in the other guy's face, which is totally awesome. I just have no idea how to do it. Also, this guy went in to this fight in full Joker makeup. Look at his face. He's, like, painted white with red lipstick. Like, like he, for him, this fight is, like, you know, the highlight of his afternoon. Oh, God. I thought it was blocking. Okay. So how do we block? This is me blocking. Okay, it didn't really work. Oh, but that worked. Oh, God. Oh, God. No! No! Oh, get him! Get him! Oh, God! He stabbed me in the throat as I was trying to get up. We're fighting on this beautiful beach. I say we go exploring on the beach. Let's see what we can find. There's no need to fight me, clown man. I appreciate your makeup. Or he kind of looks like the crow. You know, like uh, from the movie, uh, the Brandon Lee movie, The Crow. Okay, is there anything to explore? We're just... It's me and a friend going for a lovely jog on the beach. He wants to kill me so bad. I think he runs faster than me because he is catching up. Oh, God. I turned around to kill him. He had the... Oh, he stabbed me in the back as I died. He had the exact same idea I had. I was like, I'm going to turn around and ice this guy. Oh, he stabbed me in the butt, actually. He sliced me in the throat and then sliced up my butt. That That is insulting. That is an insulting way to kill a guy. Let me just say. How about we go like this? Oh, there you go. Now who's dead? The nice thing about this game is it's really easy to beat because eventually, you know, even if the computer's really good at blocking, eventually they're going to miss. You know, they're just going to get unlucky and then it's a one-hit kill, you win. What a waste of time. Totally, man. You ruined my beach day, uh, Crow Man, Crow Ninja. I don't know what that guy's name is. We're fighting our way up to Shang Tsung. Probably. That's all I can imagine. All right, now we're fighting like a ninja woman. Oh, God. She stabbed me. Oh, I saw blood there. I didn't know which way it came from, but since my guy's dead, I assume she got me. Well played. Well played. See, this is why when you go into combat, my guy should have like a football helmet on. I'm telling you. He's, he's leaving a, a very vital part of his body fully exposed. Also, her toes are showing. You know, she's not careful. She's going to lose him because I will, oh, I'll just cut, I'll just gut you. Hit her in the toes. Ah, uh, <laughs> you can't. There's honor among ninjas. No ninja so, shall slice the toe off a fallen foe. That's the Bushido code, guys. I have no time for this. Hey, I've lost an eye too. Was, was my guy losing an eye? Did he only have one eye when I started? Because if not, I have a feeling... He may have lost an eye on my watch. It might be my fault that he only has one eye. Oh, this is the bad guy, Shang Tsung. Your sword is stained with the blood of your fallen comrades. All right, dude. You think you're going to kill me with it? That guy's blade is glowing. He has a lightsaber. What the hell? That's not fair. Um, all right. Well, if we have to kill a dark Jedi, we'll kill a dark Jedi. Rematch time. <laughs> All right. Yes, we've heard this. Can we just slice him? <laughs> oh, we totally can! <laughs> There's no honor there. <laughs> you know what? You don't monologue, buddy. You don't monologue. That's why you don't monologue. Because, uh, guess what? 
None are more contem... Oh, God, I can't even say that. And those who def defile the way of the Bushido. Oh, I just committed a dishonorable act. So do I just lose? I think I do. That I, I committed a dishonorable act. The game is frozen. It's like, you have no honor. The game is now frozen. You have to get out of your seat and click reset, you dishonorable cow. Oh, I think we did. We totally did lose. Oops, I guess I selected this guy. Okay. Um, hold on. I want to go back. Can I go back? All right, we're going back into the game. I love this PlayStation 1 startup logo. It just reminds me of, I guess, the mid to late 90s. Um, I played a lot of PS1 demo discs back in the day. That was a big way that we tried new games, um, is we would get demo discs with magazines and stuff, and we'd throw it in, and they'd each have, like, three or four, you know, demos of games. And sometimes a demo was enough. Like, you know, you'd, you'd play it through, play it a handful of times, play one of the other demos. By the time you made it through all four demos, you'd buy another magazine. And so it was, like, just constantly trying games out. Much like we're doing in this 1001 quest, I mean, really, I'm only playing each of these games for like half an hour, an hour, sometimes an hour and a half or two if it's a really elaborate game. But, you know, I'm really just sort of trying to get a taste of all these games, and uh, that was a lot of what we did back in the day. POV mode. Interesting. We could watch a movie if you want. Okay, let's try this. Let's try slash mode, and then I am interested in that POV mode. That might be kind of interesting. Let's try the sledgehammer, too. We want to mix it up with a different weapon here. Um, okay, so who would be a good character? There also, look, there's some dimension along the bottom. Like it goes up this way and it goes down this way. I don't quite understand. This guy looks kind of cool. Too bad the uh, guy with the gun is in here. Kanuki. Hmm. We could be Mikado. I think I killed all these people like right off the bat <laughs> in the campaign mode that we just played. Uh, let's be this guy. He kind of looks like uh, Nightwing or something, you know, from uh, the Batman series. He's got, like, a mask on. All right, and... Hey, wait, 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 I didn't want the katana. I didn't want the katana. Are you serious? Okay, we'll do one, one match with the katana, I guess. Oh, maybe slash mode? You have no choice. Because you have to slash. I see. Um, oh, so it's just, how many of these guys can you kill? Alright, well there's one. Now what? Oh, it just keeps spawning, it keeps spawning an endless supply of Oh, we only got one kill! We only got one kill. Oh, let's try this one more time. I can do better at slash mode. Yeah! Oh god. Oh, there we go. There we go, slash him! Slash him! There we go, kill him. Kill him. Okay. There we go. Man, why can't I kill this guy? There we go. There we go. Oh, he's wearing armor. He's taking multiple slashes. All right, we got him. Can I slash my way through these doors, by the way? So anything in this environment is just an empty dojo. It's a dojo hallway. We're not even fighting in the real dojo. Oh, we just stabbed him right in the back. All right. Uh, imagine that you're a recruit to a new JoJo, and they're like, "All right, the first the first task is you're gonna dress up in this uh, brown tunic, and you're gonna go fight one of the masters. He's training with his katana, and uh, when the guy in front of you dies, you go in and you try and kill the master. <laughs> These guys are just like the the lowest rung on the totem pole in the dojo. They just go in as as uh, blade fodder." Anyway, we died for slash mode. That's okay. Okay, so there's some interesting game modes here. I want to try sledgehammer mode. Give me squash mode rather than slash mode. Training mode, POV mode, uh, versus. Can I just do? Can I just do versus like against the computer, or is it going to require two players? That is my. That's my question. I guess we're gonna find out. Bushido Blade is now loading. Um. Oh yeah, it's it's two players. Okay, is there any way to get out of this? Like, I can select the red shadow, but I don't have a second control. Okay, well, we gotta reset. It's too bad there isn't just a sparring mode where it can be like one player versus the computer. I guess you do have to go into campaign mode. So let's go into the campaign one more time with the sledgehammer. The first time I die, though, I won't continue. I just want to see what the sledgehammer is like. And then we'll go into POV mode and we'll give that uh, spear a try. Because I feel like that spear has crazy range. It could actually be a very effective weapon. But 
I mean, if there's a sledgehammer, I got to use a sledgehammer. Uh, just... <laughs> I mean, the game is hyper-realistic in the sense of, like, people die from one hit. I guess it's not going to be fun enough to show people getting squished by the hammer. Probably not. Probably they'll just fall down. Sparks will fly off their body when you hit them, and they will fall down dead. So, that's okay. Um, it would be crazy to have a hyper-realistic game like this that had, like, real body damage. Like, you slice someone, like, their arm falls off, or you hit them with the sledgehammer, and, like, their, their face breaks and stuff. Um... I mean, I guess Mortal Kombat, the more current Mortal Kombats kind of do that. They're like hyper-violent and realistic like that. Like when you do combos, it zooms in and shows you an x-ray of a guy's skull being broken. Um, let's be Mikado here. I feel like she's the kind of uh, ninja who would smash dudes with a sledgehammer. That sledgehammer doesn't even look like a sledgehammer, to be totally honest. It kind of looks a little puny. I want like a big war hammer. Just reminding me, oh, look at the broadsword. Go into battle with a full broadsword. I feel like that's too heavy, man. You're going to be way too slow. Uh, especially when one hit kills. What is the advantage to having a powerful but slow weapon? It's like one hit is going to kill no matter what. Take the small, fast weapon. The smallest, fastest weapon is what you want. The Nodachi. That looks like a long katana. Anyway, sledgehammer is what we're going with. We're going to bust some skulls because all the helmets in this game... Literally leave the top of the head and the back of the spine perfectly revealed. It's like built for sledgehammers. So, alright. We know the backstory already. Ninjas. I hear the weeping of departed souls. Do you now? I can't just leave them like that. Someone must stop it. Mikado, grab your war hammer and go to squish the skulls of your enemies. Become one with the hammer. Oh, we need, a, we need a slogan. How about it's hammer time? It's like a throwback to the 80s. It's kind of, it's kind of obvious, but uh, we're going to do it. All right, buddy. It's hammer time. Oh, God. Run. And boom. Run away. Boom. Okay, she's not very good with the hammer, and she might be dead. Oh, God. Oh, I hit him down. He's on the ground. Oh, I hit him down again. Oh, I hit him again. Man, this hammer sucks. Oh, he just fell down out of pure fear. Oh, he's on hes on a knee. I, like, hurt his leg. Oh, there we go. Beating guys to death takes a lot longer than slicing them. Look how slow I'm moving towards them. Like, I'm, like, intimidating him. Oh, yeah, here we go, buddy. Here we go. This is gonna be for you. This, get over here. Oh, look, he just fell. He was so afraid. Oh, yeah. Is he dead yet? Okay, we finally killed him. <laughs> We're just <laughs> brutalizing his body now. <laughs> All right. Oh, we squished him right in the junk, right in the face, right in the ribs. We killed him, man. That was very interesting. Because again, with the blade, it's like a one hit kill. With the hammer, it's like four or five attacks. Feels like the hammer is inherently a terrible weapon as it turns out. So if you have the option between a katana and a sledgehammer, take the sled or take the the katana. Oh, this guy's missing me. Hey, it's me. It's me from the the, the character that I was last time. Oh, I th I seem to have broken his leg. He can't get up. There we go. Just gonna keep hitting him in the face. He's gonna suffer multiple concussions. There you go. Defend against this. Have we crushed his airways yet? His ribs are broken, his legs broken, his vision's getting blurry. There we go. I like to imagine that even when he blocks an attack, it like hurts him. Okay, how about this? Oh god, he hit my legs! My legs! My beautiful legs! Alright, we're dead. Alright, the sledgehammer sucks. There, there's probably a lot of strategy to this. So, if you did get good at this game with your friends, like, are you going to go for the R? Like, there's upper, mid, and low attacks. You, as you saw there, you can injure people's legs, and then, you know, you, then you can outmaneuver them and stuff. So, I like the fact that there seems to be a lot of strategy going on here. Um, you know what? I, I changed my mind. Let's try the story mode one more time with the pole, and then we'll go into POV mode and end on the katana. I think the katana is so iconic that it would make sense to end on that. So, who else we got? Let's do this guy, because he looks like he just came from the gym. 
He just came from his, uh, uh, I don't know, Taekwondo class. And he picked up the nearest Naginata to go and defend the honor of the dojo that was brutalized by the Foot Clan. He's going to go off. If you had a pole, like a pole weapon, it has such long range and a blade at the end. It seems like the ultimate weapon, like compared to a sword, um, you know, is really a secret group of assassins. And now I know they're secret. They'll come after me. So he's doing this. He's even got glasses. He's a nerd. We're a nerd, guys. He's doing this out of self-defense. All right, man. Grab your... Longest weapon. I feel like the pole weapon is the weapon of cowards because you can stand really far back and attack people. You could be sitting on a couch with a long enough pole and stab someone as they come in the room, you know, from like across the room. All right, come on. I'll just do this. I'll just poke you. Like he can't even get, he can't even get close to me. Although this weapon does not seem to kill him. Come on. Come on! Okay, I got close to him for no reason. Interestingly, the katana seemed like the biggest uh, sort of one-hit kill weapon. Because all these other weapons are taking like an insane amount of time to kill people. I'm just flailing around. I am no ninja. I was never trained properly. Oh, God. Can you die already? How many times have I stabbed this guy? Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Man, he's like dancing around doing all these like crazy pirate moves. I, I basically look like a day worker. I've just got a long stick that I'm jabbing at him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. He injured me and I'm dead. <laughs> the pole sucks. I'm glad we didn't end on that. Wow. So the katana. It's crazy, like, when we were playing through the first time around, I was like, oh man, like, one-hit kills, it's so easy to kill people. Only with the katana! I mean, maybe some of the other swords, but maybe the katana is, like, OP, or it's, like, really good at the one-hit kills, or maybe just the way I was playing the game, it's really good. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead into POV mode. This game did have a link mode where you could connect two PlayStation 1s, which is something I don't think I've ever heard of before. What are they, like, old Game Boys? Um... But uh, I think you did that, and then you could play co-op campaign, as I understand. I mean, I might be I might be off on that, but I think that's what it was used for. Anyway, um, all right, POV mode. Oh, we got new characters here. So let's see. We can be. Oh no, it's the same characters. They're just dressed differently. Like there's there's my guy that I was before. There's Kanuki. There's Black Lotus. There's Mikado. Tatsumi. Let's go with Red Shadow here. She was in the opening montage video. Oh, do I have to select an opponent? All right, let's be, let's have, I don't know, Black Lotus. Sure, sounds good. Katana and Katana. The other guy's just gonna use a Katana. Sword, it's just truly a Bushido-based sword fight. Is this two players or what? Select the arena. Ooh, okay, what are things we haven't seen? Uh, we saw the Bamboo Thicket, Underground Grotto, Cherry Blossom Grove. Interesting. Let's try the Cherry, cherry Blossom Grove. Sounds like an interesting place to have a fight. I like how ninjas were not only about, you know, wanting to fight each other, but it's like it was also the beauty of the fight and the art of the fight. You know, they were like, if I'm going to kill you, I will do it in front of the Cherry Blossoms, you know. Oh, we're already fighting, by the way. Oh, and I'm dead. <laughs> Very interesting. It's like a whole other game. It's, it's kind of like, it, it makes me feel like during development, they um, weren't sure if this should be a third person or first person game. And most of the development crew liked the third person aesthetic, but enough of them liked the first person. They were like, you know what? Let's just, let's just also have a uh, first person mode. Why not? Oh my God, we died again. I'm not very good at this first person mode. Let's let's give it like one or two more shots here. Actually, let's let's die, and uh, let's switch arenas. So the cherry blossom grove, we're kind of fighting on like a path, and there's just casually some cherry blossoms behind us, but it's nothing too spectacular. So let's let's try another another place. 
We'll fight against Kanuki again. Red Shadow versus Kanuki. Let's give him some crappy weapon. Oh no, he, he always fights with the katana. Oh no, we can give him something bad. All right. You are going to fight with this thing. That turned out to not be good for me. Watch him just totally ice me. We're giving him the advantage of range. Okay, Yaguru, Yagura Point, Yahiro Road, Underground Grotto, Bamboo Thicket. I, I think we'll try the thicket, actually. I don't know what uh, make, make Yokan is. Man, I'm so bad at pronouncing Japanese words. I mean, I, I never read Japanese stuff, so I'm just totally unpracticed at it. But it's rather embarrassing. And this is being recorded for posterity, so I'll never be able to take back my embarrassment. Um, all right. Ha ha! Oh God, where is he? Where is he? Slice and dice time, baby! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we have him on the we have him on the run, but we just like actually can't attack him. We can't get a we can't get a hit through. Damn it! Yeah. Okay, we're just like running by him continually. Oh, there we go. That was a hit. Hit! Hit him again! Hit him again! Okay, we are hitting him with the sword. How is he not dying? Keep hitting him! Hit him on the ground! Don't give him a chance to get up! Brutalize this guy! Brutalize him! He's in the corner now. He's just, like, dazed. Can we... get in there and just finish him off? Okay, he's lying- he's literally lying on the ground and I can't finish him off. Hit him in the back! <laughs> How is my katana not killing this guy? His pole is just like defending every attack. There we go. I think we just pulled his eye out. We we're just getting fed up of the failed sword attacks. Look, he's wearing uh, like blocks of cheese as slippers. Oh no, he's wearing like the wooden slippers, like the wooden Japanese slippers. All right, we successfully brutalized Kutsaki. The red shadow is awesome. If we continue, is it just like a rematch? Does it change characters or anything like that? I wonder. No, it does not. Anyway, okay, so that th this has been uh, this has been Bushido Blade. Oh, we totally killed him so easily that time. What were we doing wrong last time? I wonder. Obviously, this game has a lot of strategy and a lot of tactics to it. If you were to pick it up and play it longer, um, you could figure it out. I mean, I feel like in the short time that we've played around uh, with this game, we've pretty much seen almost the entire game. So you don't really need a lot of skill to get through this game. And I can attest to that, guys, because trust me, I do not have a lot of skill at this game or fighting games in general. Uh, but that said, I, I think this game where it would shine is less the single player and more the multiplayer. So like if you and a friend decided to like start playing this game and figure out its secrets and the tactics and the strategies, I could see this being sort of like a fun dueling game. Um, if nothing else, it is a very unique and interesting uh, take on fighting games. You know, it brings up the, the, the question of like, what should we value in video games, like realism or fun? And of course, I think, oh, we just sliced his neck. He, he fell asleep, uh, he passed out from the fight. We just sliced his neck and murdered him. Um, I mean, I, of course, sort of take the, the mentality, I think most people do, that ultimately video games should be fun. Um, and Blizzard is one company that's talked about this specifically. And they've said that when it comes to game mechanics, they first and foremost focus on what is fun and they worry about if it makes sense later. Oh my God, now we're like fighting in the bamboo thicket. We can actually like slice these trees down. That is so cool. That is so neat. So I'm glad we didn't just quit. Glad we kept seeing this through. Uh, I think I sliced his feet, but he might've like stabbed me in the neck. So I can't 100% can't tell who's ahead by now. But yes, when it comes to game mechanics, start with what's fun and then worry about if it makes sense later. So, you know, like we poke fun um, at games where, you know, a guy gets blasted in the face by a laser and it only takes away like one tenth of his health bar. But then like somebody does like a body slam in there. Oh, my. Oh, I'm rolling around on the ground. Look at this. I can't even get up. Uh, but then uh, somebody, uh, you know, does like a body slam and it like takes half your life away. So... You know, like, like games are not realistic. Let's, let's all be upfront about that. But I think, you know, Blizzard has it right. At the end of the day, whatever's fun is, um, you know, what you should go with. This game took an interesting 
uh, approach to fighting games where it tried to make them super realistic. And I, I like that idea because it's sort of fresh and unique. So, you know, thinking about, like, is this a game you must play before you die? I think if you're a fighting, you know, guru and you've never tried this game before or heard of it and you have, like, a friend who, you know, you like to play fighting games with, this is a game that I would recommend because it is so interesting and unique. I think that this kind of game probably could have been refined a little more to sort of give like a pseudo health bar you know with my suggestion of hey you know why don't you just have like four or five auto blocks that function as health points kind of thing or something else you know just to um get it away from the one hit kills but to be honest you know like the more we're playing it it kind of feels like these guys actually do take several hits like we're not dying in one hit anymore. So I don't know if we just got really lucky in our first playthrough, you know, and we were just, you know, machines murdering people left and right, like we were murder machines. But it seems like people don't die as easily as the game first seemed. So yeah, I don't know, very, very interesting, unique fighting game. Uh, but what do you guys think? Is Bushido Blade a game that you played back in the day? I like how we're both crawling at each other, flailing our blades around. Come on, buddy. Yeah, you're going down. I cannot finish this guy off. Did he kill me? No, he didn't. Oh, we just bopped him in the face with the butt of our sword. Oh, he murdered me. Oh, look, I'm tangled in the clump in the top right there, my uh, character model. Um, is this a game that you played back in the day? If you did, do you have any memories or, or advice for us? Or do you have any, like, cool tips and tricks? Feel free to leave your comments uh, down below. And uh, as always, whatever you guys think of the game here today, hopefully I've made today entertaining. If I have, don't forget to like the video and all that stuff. And I will be back soon with yet another game in the ongoing quest to try all the games in the book. A thousand and one video games you must play before you die. So until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves and we will see you soon. Peace. Okay, if the katana is good, then a lighter, faster weapon should be even better. Right? Oh! Well, it turns out the rapier's not as good and the sledgehammer's better than we thought.